So let's click on that record and click on the drop down over here and then select sharing. Manual sharing is perfect when you need flexibility without changing your. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about manual sharing which comes into place when sharing rules doesn't work. So let's get into a scenario where you have set up your sharing rules but suddenly your teammate says I still can't see the record. That's when manual sharing steps in. Your quick fix for those special exceptions Salesforce didn't auto handle. So what exactly manual sharing is? Manual sharing allows the record owner or admin to share individual records with specific users, groups or roles. Think of it as it has a handing out temporary key to, to a locked file cabinet just for the people who need access and then when to use it so you will use manual sharing when org wide default settings is set to private and sharing rules doesn't fit your case and you want to share just one record not the entire set and to see it in real time let's go back to our Salesforce server and see it in demo here I have an opportunities where currently I'm logged in as an admin user where I'll be able to see all the opportunities but I have a different user who has only access to his own record but they cannot see any other records but in this case i want to only share a particular record to this user instead of sharing all the users and this wheeler is nancy wheeler this user so now let's go back to my admin and i want to share share only one record that's related to grand hotels emergency generators so let's click on that record and click on the drop down over here and then select sharing as soon as you select sharing you'll see a beautiful dialog box open up and then here you can specify which user or you can select the criteria there is user public group roles and internal subordinates so in my case i'm i want to share it to a particular user so i select a user and i type the username and there you go so once you select and you have to specify which type of access you want to provide either you can provide read only or read or write in my case i want to provide read or write so they can update the opportunity so let's click on save once you click on save the, this record should have been shared to that user let's go back to that user and look into that let me quickly refresh this and here you can see Grand Hotels Emergency Generators has been successfully shared to this user. And whenever you want to revoke the access, all you need to do is just go back to this record, click on the drop down over here, click on sharing and edit it. And then remove the user which we just shared. Or if you want to update the access, you can just change the read only. Or you can remove it and then click in save. And then let's verify if the access has been revoked or not. There we go. Access has been successfully revoked. And there are few limitations while working on this. It only works for objects that support manual sharing on and only the owner or admin can share and it does not cascade it to related records and uh, to summarize manual sharing is perfect when you need flexibility without changing your organization wide defaults and use it wisely it's not an automation but it's a lifesaver in real-time world scenarios and also behind the scenes when you share a record there is an object called account share or opportunity share since we were sharing opportunities there is a, an object called opportunity share it will create an entry over there to share this particular record to the particular user which we were targeting and if you find this video helpful hit the like button and it helps more salesforce learners to find this don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications for more quick salesforce tutorials